please try not to be mean to me because I mentally cannot handle it right now. Not very sure where we're going. Just wanted to film this video in the car because I thought it was pretty fitting. The last time I did a video over depression, I was in the car, so. Hi guys. <laughs> hey you guys, it's me Madeline, and today is going to be more of a serious video. As you read from the title, that's pretty serious. So um, I'm gonna try not to be too like upsetting in this video and also not gonna cry. I've already cried enough. I don't really know what I'm gonna talk about, honestly. I had like kind of a mental list in my head. Um, I didn't write it down, I just have it in my head. So hopefully I say everything that I wanted to. Uh, maybe stuff will just kind of pop up in my head and it'll be more organic that way. So yes, as you read from the title, I am back on my depression medicine. We're just like jumping into this video, whatever. I would say 2017, the beginning of 2000, 16? It was not that long ago. No, okay, yeah, yeah. Beginning of 2017, I got on depression medicine because from like the year before that, 2016 was a very rough year. Found out, I was like, I probably have depression. So went to the doctor, got on the medicine, did great. Um, I was on it for about a year. So then January 2018 came around and I was fine. I was like, I'm good, I don't need the medicine. I feel like I can get off of it. So I weaned myself off of it in like two months. If you've taken depression medicine and weaned off of it, you have to do it like over a long period of time because if you just stop it cold turkey, you get the worst side effects ever. Well, I would say probably ending of October, I started getting back into my depression spells and I don't know, nothing really triggered it. I, so I thought, I, I don't know. We'll get into that in a second. Um, so I finally told Steven, I was like, I think I'm part depressed again. <laughs> Because I started to get those feelings again, obviously not at the severity that it was. Did I even say that right? Severity? Sir, sir. It's, it wasn't as bad as whenever I got on the medicine, first got on the medicine, when I was like, hey, I need help. But I could definitely feel myself going down that path again, and so we wanted to hit it on the head before it got bad. Sorry, I know I'm like smiling and laughing or whatever, but like honestly, I'm not embarrassed by it, and it's just normal to me. That makes sense. I don't know how to explain it. Like, depression is not this taboo thing that we make it out to be. And so I'm kind of like, not joking, but like, you know. So hopefully it makes me feel better. It worked for me the first time. So I'm hoping it'll work again. It's just, I don't know, it worked for me. And I don't know if it's the fact that I told somebody that I'm sad that it works and then I mentally think it's the medicine or if it's like actually the medicine balancing out my levels of whatever it balances out. I don't know how to wear beanies. I look stupid. Anyway, basically the main thing of this video is that I'm back on my depression medicine. If you guys want to see my depression experience for the first time, I guess, I go into like, I go into it deep. Um, in that video, if you guys want to see that, I will link it down below. I'm not going to really talk about it right now because my symptoms were not the same then, but I could definitely feel myself at the beginning of it again. I don't know where I'm driving, honestly. I might just go park somewhere because I have nowhere to go. I have half a thing of gas, so I don't really need to get gas. I don't need to get food because I'm not that hungry. So to the next topic, I am taking a break on YouTube. Crazy for me to even say that, but yeah, I need a break. Um, I have been told several times I need to take one and I, as a social media influencer, it's hard to take a break because you're afraid of like you just think, oh, no one's gonna be here when I come back. No one's gonna care about me anymore. People are gonna forget about me. I can't take a break if I go ghost. Like no one's gonna remember me, whatever. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I changed my name on here to Madeline Jean. Jean is my middle name, and I just feel like Madeline Jean sounds like cuter than Madeline Phillips. So yeah, I changed my name to Madeline Jean instead of AX Madeline because of, I just feel like it sounds more, I don't know, older. I don't know what the word would be, like, sophisticated. I'm still gonna be AX Madeline on all my other social medias. I felt like that would be like too much of a change if I just started changing all my at names, but I just feel like I needed some type of change on my YouTube channel because as you guys have seen, it has been declining. Just my overall audience and at 
activity has been going down so I just need change and that is what I'm going to be doing over the break is I am going to focus on what I need to change and by change I mean I need to figure out my content what kind of content do I want to create and I love being a variety channel but as you guys know I posted a video not that long ago about how I feel like I screwed myself over by being a variety channel because you guys don't know what you're gonna get and like some people subscribe to people because they're a beauty channel some people subscribe to them because they're a lifestyle channel like, I want to know from you guys so when you get a notification from me what are you hoping my video is about what are you hoping is me doing or me talking about or whatever I know I can't cater to all a hundred thousand of you guys but I do want to cater to the majority and I like creating anything that's why I like the variety channel, but I wanna know what you guys wanna see. I know my friend Marie created a Google Docs form of you guys filling them out, and I read I read almost all of them, and there was like 500 of them. Like I went through and made mental notes. I even made an actual like note page about like, hey, they wanna see this, they wanna see this, I should change this, I should change that. And a bunch of it was being more open, and I couldn't agree more with you guys. I think one thing that is getting me down, there's two things that are like pretty big to me, but one of them is that I feel like I can't be myself. And I'm not saying that you guys aren't seeing me at myself, but you guys aren't seeing me at like my full self. I don't know how to explain it. I'm not a bad person, but I'm also not this innocent goody two shoes that you guys see. And I cuss whoop de doo but in my YouTube videos, I feel like I have to censor that out. I censor them out because of I obviously have a younger audience, but also I'm like scared of what if when I become a teacher, these kids are gonna find these videos of me saying the F word and yada yada yada, but then that sucks because I feel like I'm not being honest with you guys and being myself because I mean, in my videos I cuss, but I have to clip that part out because I'm like, oh, I can't put that in there. And it just sucks because I feel like I'm not being honest and so then I f am not proud of the content because I'm like, this isn't me. I don't know, it's just, I know that's it, one thing that's silly, but I feel like I can't talk about certain things because of, I don't know who's watching. Um, my family watches, Steven's family watches, my future students might watch them, so I don't know. And I know, <sighs> I don't know, I just don't want things to come back and haunt me, but I also want to be myself and talk about whatever I want to because I am 20 years old, almost 21, which is crazy. I hope it wasn't like super loud while I was driving, but the main reason why I'm taking a break from just YouTube and not like Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff, by the way, I'm still going to be on Twitter and Instagram, just not YouTube because I have been getting a lot of hate recently and I used to not be affected by it. I could read a hundred positive comments, get one hate comment and I'd be like, eh, whatever. I have those a hundred other positive comments. But now for some reason, I can't focus on those. I focus on that one hate comment that probably wasn't even really a hate comment. They were just stating whatever and it just like in the slightest offended me and then I just hated it. I hate the video. I hate everything that I did. I hate myself. It just gets to me and I used to never be like that. So I want to take this break and just find my self-confidence again and be proud of myself because right now I'm not very self-confident and I'm not kidding you guys when I say this I honestly think it was the bangs that really screwed me over and recently I have had several people on my YouTube channel commenting nasty things not nasty like in like um, inappropriate but like mean things for the first time in my YouTube career I don't even know how long I've been making videos I've been on social media since 2014 for sure actually before that but I started like being serious about social media in 2014 but I don't think I really started a YouTube channel until like three years ago and that's why this is crazy is because I have been on YouTube for let me see oldest video so four years ago but I started like actually really posting two years ago no I had to have been three January 16th so three years ago the longest I have gone without uploading has been a week and a half and so this break is going to be crazy to me because I've never done it before and I need it I haven't done it in three years if you go back to videos I'm sure there's gonna be some where it's like a two-week difference or whatever or maybe a three week because I had to go private some videos and I did vlogmas like two years ago and I privated a bunch of those yeah so it might look like I haven't but I the longest I have gone is a week 
week and a half for sure which is crazy to me because how do I post that many videos I don't know I'm not creative at all and can't come up with video ideas <laughs> with all that being said the hate comments have been getting to me like no other and I had one video that has been getting two videos that have been getting a lot of hate recently because they started to kind of get bigger and it's just like calling me stupid and I'm an idiot and yada 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 because I do stupid things in my videos because I don't know I'm just stupid but I think it's funny so I leave it in there but other people apparently don't think it's funny and they just call me dumb but recently during my 12 days of Madeline I posted that eight pan dessert video and that video had only been up for like 30 minutes I had already had three comments that I was offended by and I was just like screw this I'm not doing YouTube anymore I'm not doing 12 days of Madeline anymore if people aren't gonna appreciate what I'm doing and I just like went berserk like I was just so mad because I spent so much time on 12 days of Madeline planning everything out whatever and that was three people that have my notifications on I started panicking because I was like oh my gosh if this gets bigger out of my viewer audience circle I'm gonna get so many hate comments so I was like freaking out and for the first time in three four years I disabled the comments on a YouTube video and then while I was at it I was like you know what screw it I'm gonna go disable the comments on those other two videos so I have three videos right now that have their comments disabled just because I mentally right now cannot take the hate I literally can't I had to do it for my own good I know it doesn't really affect you guys that much if I disable the comments but it was just getting to me so bad and I cried so much that day and then like I just was so emotional I hated myself I mean I'm still obviously not like super self-confident right now but there for a while I was just hating myself because of I know I have a lot of things I need to change about my YouTube channel but for some reason I won't do it I won't take that time to film that extra clip that could look really cool in my video I won't take the time to edit my videos better like I suck at editing why if this is my job why don't I sit down and freaking learn how to edit better I sit here and cry to myself about me being not growing or me losing my audience or whatever but I I don't do anything to change it and I know I don't and that's what kills me so 2019 I'm starting fresh on YouTube I'm taking a month break because school is gonna be starting back up anyway January 14th I believe so I'm gonna take that time to get used to my classes and my new schedule whatever but also just to figure out what I want to do with my YouTube channel so in this time I'm going to try and teach myself to edit better work on my job you know like this is my source of income like I need to take it serious as long as I can at least because I mean I am going to school to be an elementary school teacher I know I said that earlier that I'm like in school or whatever or my future students but I also like I always say in all these videos is that I want to do this for as long as possible and I know it's not gonna last forever and I know a lot of people want to start YouTube and I say go for it but remember what you're signing up for it's fun at first and then it turns into a job it does and I want to find that fire again in me where I was just doing it for fun at one point and I'm gonna be honest is like I let the views get in my head and I need to have a clear slate so I changed my name I'm gonna start fresh and if you guys want to stay on this journey with me please stay subscribed and I guess turn on notifications so you'll find out whenever I post again and what that video is I don't know and if you're gonna leave then bye just kidding I'm lost right now and I'm gonna try and find myself I know I sound like I'm complaining but I'm just giving you guys a heads up on what is going on with me this is gonna be my last video for a while my name has changed 2019 will hopefully be a better year I am still going to be posting on mine and Steven's couples channel so if you guys aren't subscribed to that and you want to see those um, our channel will be linked down below Madeline and Steven I just need to be motivated again I just need to 
have fun again. I know I'm gonna get hate on this video. I'm gonna try. I was gonna say I'm gonna try not to read the comments, but I have to read the comments because I asked you guys a question on what you guys want to see from me. Like, what are you hoping? What are you secretly hoping for? We have definitely not been myself the last few months. You guys have probably seen that reflected in my videos. I have not been proud of the work that I've been putting out, and I can see that you guys aren't proud of it either. I'm not myself right now. I'm not my fun woohoo. I'm just gonna go dance in public self. I need to find that again where I just don't care. Um, it's scary taking a break because you don't know what's gonna happen when you upload. I'm probably gonna upload that video when I come back and get like 200 views. But at least it will be 200 loyal AF subscribers. Hope this video wasn't too terrible to watch. I tried to make it not as sad or upsetting or boring. I'm gonna go. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please do not forget to give the video a like. I will be back eventually so i'm gonna take this time to figure it out if you guys want to stay up to date um i guess follow my instagram follow my twitter maybe i should start doing live streams again i don't know i just felt the most connected to you guys when we did that and i miss it i miss the old days i hope you guys stay subscribed and you'll still be here when i come back i guess turn on a bell notification you won't be getting one for a while but when i do post you will get one yeah, if you guys have any feedback that you want to tell me, make sure to let me know down below. I appreciate you. I appreciate you a lot. I hope you guys are having a great day or night or whenever you're watching this. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.